Hey, what up? This is Re here. Re up, motherfucker. Back again with another video. Thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to visit my website. It's paradoxastrology.com. Paradox without the O. I'm going to link it below. I do consultations. I'm a professional Vedic astrologer. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to talk about quickly about the occult and athletes and what they're doing in order to enhance an athlete. So Von Bomar talks about this. So he's a really good metaphysical teacher, if you haven't heard of him before. He was talking about how when you get into professional sports or as a musician as well, what they do is they amplify your kundalini energy to the point that it's working 100%, which you, you're never supposed to do because it depletes the body but they activate this within them. So now they become like a superhuman. That's why you see athletes and you're like, wow, how can this person even, is this person even human? How can they even do this? Or how is a singer able to, to hit these at almost impossible notes? How are they able to perform at that age for this long amount of time and not get tired? Well, that's your kundalini energy. So for example, there are different techniques. These are advanced breathing techniques that have to do with breath work and mantras. When you combine these certain things, now a normal human being's nervous system delivers about 30% bioelectric energy to their muscles. So when these techniques are performed, you can double the output of the bioelectrical energy to 60%, doubling your strength. So um, you're still going to have to do some physical training to get your muscles used to handling the load, but the delivery of 100% of your potential energy to the muscles would damage the tendons. So it's not the goal of the technique. So that's why they only amplify it to 60%. But the way Stevan was talking about it, that made me think, yeah, they probably do have the techniques where you amplify it to 100% because they don't care about what it's going to do to the athlete. That's why athletes end up being having to be like hospitalized so much and tearing so many things because it's so harsh on their body because now you probably amped it to that much and that's why they can't be athletes for that long. They're going to have to retire early because their body just literally can't handle it. So a lot of masters, like especially in martial arts, they practice this. I'm not even going to say because the reason I'm not going to say what this is is because this is a spiritual practice. is not not supposed to be used in order to become stronger. That's all ego. That's not why this is supposed to be done. And if you're not doing this in a spiritual practice, you're going to really mess yourself up. And that's what happens to a lot of athletes. That's what happens to a lot of artists as well. So like, say, for example, if you're doing these techniques, right, like martial artists and stuff, they can lift 800 pounds in an instant. They can deliver like deadly blows with their fists because of this, right? So say if you're doing these techniques and you could lift like 200 pounds, so you're going to increase your strength to 400 pounds. So think about that. Well, you could lift it to 400 pounds just using your physical body, and then you use that technique and you double it to 800 pounds. This is what your kundalini energy can do. Now, it's not just about strength. You'll be able to be basically like a, a god in human form. It's activating your whole body. And this is how you really are. This is you. You are an immortal. And it's just your body's not activated. You haven't activated yourself. And so that's why we're only at that 30% or lower for a lot, a lot of people because of the way they're eating. So if you get someone in a way that they're training, they're activating their kundalini energy and they're eating properly, very clean, and then they're practicing, yeah, they're going to be able to be like a god. And this is the whole example of this is that you're supposed to do this yourself, but you have to live in, in a certain way. It's not just about doing these so that you can physically be stronger. It's about activating and finding yourself. So that's the reason I'm not putting it out. Devon, he was talking about how after the athlete retires, that's why it's like everybody is still sees them as a star right and they see them as a star and they come up to ask for autographs and everything like that and is just kind of sick of it at that point because he knows now he's not a star anymore he's probably in debt and but people are still looking at him as that same way because it just drains the person and that's why this is not this is not recommended like people are being used they're definitely being used and they're not taught what this technique is because it's things that people could do. Like you can enhance your kundalini energy and it'll work for a bit. But then it, if you're not doing it in a, in a spiritual type way or you don't understand what you're doing at all or you're doing it to 100%, you're going to leave yourself in detriment and it's going to be way worse 
after that. That's why people have to have usually a guru or even to do these techniques. Like, I think you should be meditating at least five, six years before you start doing advanced things, things like that. So that's why I'm not putting that out. But hopefully that answers some people's questions about kind of what's going on with athletes and how they're able to. And some people were probably trained since they were children to do these certain techniques as well. And that's why you don't need steroids or anything like that if you know proper techniques, occult techniques, which the higher ups do. People who are doing steroids aren't, that's depleting their body, but this won't deplete your body. So there's so many different things. Yeah, and that's it. But I love y'all and uh, yeah, motherfucker. Thank you.